My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I began Advent on Saturday evening with much hope and a glow in my heart. Some of us celebrated the life of Uncle Amran, a homeless gentleman who died last year. He lived on the streets for over 40 years, but had touched the lives of many of our youth as well as those who walked the streets at night. We shared stories of what Uncle Amran meant to us. He taught me that the homeless have pride and a dignity no different from me with their wants and needs. They too are fellow pilgrims on this journey of life. There was optimism in the air with talk about how we are about to celebrate Christmas this December. Borders with Singapore was opening with VTLs and how many will be able to be reunited with separated loved ones. There was an expectation in the air as the season of Advent usually brings. However, this season of Advent is also a period of waiting. While awaiting the birth of the Saviour of the world in a humble stable to welcome the infant King, there are also other causes for us to wait. Perhaps we are waiting when the first case of Omicron will be discovered and announced. Or we are waiting for the results of our PCR tests to clear me of COVID. We do not wait idly but with hopeful expectation. We are hopeful we will be able to overcome this pandemic and be able to get back to some normalcy in our lives. I pray that this season of Advent will be a grace-filled opportunity for you and your family to prepare for the birth of the Prince of Peace in the world and in our hearts.